Well, I do believe this is it. We're about to board our flight from LAX to Australia, Brisbane. Um, I've wanted to do this for a long time. This has been a life goal of mine, to do a international road trip. Rent a car from an airport and just drive around a place I've never really been to. It's my second time in Australia, but I don't really get to experience the whole country uh, like we are this time around. We've got Alex, who's filming right now, my buddy Scott, and some rods, some camera gear, and the ambition to catch as many fish as we possibly can, clock as many miles as we can in a rental vehicle, and truly experience Australia from south to north. This is gonna be quite the adventure. I've, I've never done anything like this. I'm a little bit nervous, I'm a little bit shaky, but I'm looking forward to this. So this is gonna be quite the series. Stick with it and of course, stay tuned. We're boarding. Let's make this happen. You ready? It's game time. Game time. Stay on the gold coast. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Far left lane. There you go. Oh, yeah. Are we set? At least it's warm out, one degree Celsius. How's it? We've made it. I'm in the swag, courtesy of uh, Mick and Ben. This thing is absolutely unreal. I've never had pleasure to sleep out of something like this, but it's much needed since it's 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Zero degrees for you guys, or negative two, I suppose, or negative one. It's brutal out here, but it's all gonna be worth it because we're gonna wake up tomorrow morning, shoot for some cod, get after it. Day one in Australia, success. Get ready for day number two. This might be the most misconstrued representations of Australia. I think people think you come here, you pack 50 SPF sunscreen, shorts, t-shirts, and, and you, you kick it on the beach. But uh, here's the thing, we're in Southern Australia, and it is winter time here. It had to have been 29 degrees Fahrenheit when we woke up this morning. My feet were legitimately blocks of ice. I've not been that cold in probably forever, and that's saying a lot since I grew up in Northern Illinois. But this is it. We literally camped on the river last night and we woke up to this beautiful scenery right here. So we got a few hours to fish in the morning. We're gonna have some breakfast. Welcome to Australia. Wow, holy sh**. I feel like I just burnt myself there. Cheers, folks. Let's catch some cod. I'll tell you what gets a lot of fish stars is quite a bit. These ones. Oh, that's the big chatter bait you're talking about with yeah, the stinger. Big chatter. That's are, mental. I uh, love them. Uh, Big bass would go crazy for this. You go to yeah. Texas and throw something like this and you're just gonna... Get nailed. Hmm. Have to come out some point. Yeah, you really do. Can't say they get as big as cod, but they're pretty fun. My name is Ben Jones, GT Buster, and we are on a river in northwest New South Wales, Australia. Woke up super early this morning, got the sunrise. It is freezing cold. I've had John B and Scott come all the way over from the States to come and fish this beautiful stretch of river. And hopefully we catch that elusive Murray Cod. The boys have got surface lures on to start with. I'm fishing a little glide bait. And uh, yeah, try and get something to uh, rise to the bait. Let's go and get them. What we're gonna do from here on out, we fished like, 
what feels like that was like a mile. I mean, well, you guys go by kilometers, but like a few kilometers or whatever of just barren wasteland, not even a fish. Like Scott didn't get a bite, Mick didn't get a bite. I don't think Ben even got a bite. I only got one bite in the morning. So we're gonna backtrack, get back in the car, find some more productive waters, soak some baits there, see if that works. But first, let's go some breakfast. There we go. Really? So this is the best hospitality I've ever had whenever I've traveled. Unreal. This is just as almost just as good as a cod blow up. Oh my god. Cheers. Mm. Mm -hmm. Fifty-five pounds in the Severn River. Fifty-five pounds. The head of that fish is probably better than the one that swiped at me this morning. I'd say the one that swiped this morning. That one. Oh, that one. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. My and that's the cod I'm in the top of the yeah. What year was this? Oh, that was Last week. that was a long time ago because we don't dry them out in the fence like that anymore. Yeah, that would be a bummer. <laughs> wow, that is insane. We're at a local pub right now. Uh, getting some rejuvenation from that cod mission. We just spoke to one of the owners, and I believe that was the owner, and she was kind of showing us some pictures from the olden days, the past, when cods were, you can catch cod like freaking this, but you still can. It's just very rare. She showed us this particular image of like probably over a thousand pounds of cod on a stringer. Pretty incredible fish. To think like a badass fish is like that big, but then like a super mega badass fish can get this big. Imagine like if our largemouth, like a good one was like five pounds, and like they got up to like, 100 pounds, like put that in perspective. So we're just gonna take a look at some pictures, kind of see what we're up against and get on the road. Thank you. Thanks. I'm definitely gonna throw the top water. I think they've got one over there. Let's go check it out. <laughs> Hell yes. No way. Yeah. They're coming in clutch. Wow. Dude, oh my God. That one's especially pretty. All right, so we got to this new area. And uh, it's probably the first deep stretch of river that we found all day. We covered a lot of miles, like a lot. Yes, walked. A and uh, yeah, we didn't know if it was going to happen today, to be honest. But um, me and Ben went upstream, you guys went downstream, didn't know how far away you were, but we've just been working spinner baits along the weed edges. And I literally was zoned out. Like, not even paying attention. I was just zoned out. And, and then, like, for a second, I went, I think I'm going to get bite soon. And then, literally, five seconds later, it just went dunk, hit it. <laughs> Gave it a little jiggle and then he climbed on. Like these fish, seriously, are an Australian icon. Yeah. They're so special. They're only found in this country. And for anyone who gets to chase these fish in the in the type of places that you come to chase them, and if you're lucky enough to encounter one, I mean this is just like a toy size one really. But they're they're a special fish no matter what size. <laughs> and they can be true giants. Like true giants. Dude, that's so huge. The team called. It's one. crazy, man. Oh my god. But it might be a bite time right now, so yeah. let's get into it. We got we both got hit back there. Sick. Like, yeah, yeah. On the spinner bit, yeah. Yeah. So it's good that you confirmed like they're deeper they're weed edges, man. <laughs> what oh, is there, man. dude? Yes. Hell yes. Oh, man. Woo! Yeah, good to have. Boom! <laughs> Can we get him in Australia? Oh, that's just crazy. I did I feel like I caught that fish, yeah, man. man. Very they get very, like that. Yeah. Caught a lot that man. Oh, every shit. one. If you're there on the day, every fish yeah. is is a team cod. Oh, we logged a bit a bit of time today. Yeah. They still got some daylight left. It literally could be we got the start there, of the bite, yeah. bite period right yeah. now. Let's so go. let's go. Let's go. Let's get them. Oh, sh 
I'm on. No way. As it was sinking. I'm on. No way. No way. You're kidding me. Dude, as it was sinking, I was coming down. <laughs> this is crazy. This is craziness. It feels decent too, dude. Don't you come off. It's a fat one. Oh my God. Don't you come off. Don't you come off. As soon as it hit the water, Mick. Like, no joke. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Oh, he's barely hooked. Let's go! Let's freaking go! That's a solid one. A Let's one. go! Oh, the hook is in my hand. Ouch. Wow. Dude, did you, were you watching what's going on? I like, you hit the water and you just instantly say. I was trying to avoid this, this thorn bush. Cause I want to come down here and get level with the cast. My heart's pounding, man. My heart is pounding. This is the fish we traveled 13 hours for. Got in the car last night, super late, absolutely gassed, knowing that we could have a shot at this guy right here. One good bite. My second or actually third bite of the day. And it panned out. This feels weird, man. Like I'm holding the cod. Like what in the f Look how the hooks come. Oh my god, I got lucky. I got so lucky. Let's give her a dip. Okay. Wow. See, this was this is what makes the day so cool. I got to kind of have a taste of this early in the morning. It was enough to keep me driving throughout the day into the evening, which we're fishing in right now. And it worked out. It all panned out. We didn't stop fishing. Like, not one bit. We fished three creeks, fished a ton of laydowns through a ton of different types of baits, and it worked. Keep fishing, never stop. <laughs> Wow, man, I feel giddy after that. Like, there's only one word to describe it, and it's just like giddy. He's on. Oh my God. Yeah, he's on. Got the third one of the day hooked up here, praying this thing stays on. Whew. Oh my God, my heart is pumping. I was not even paying attention anymore. There he is. Perfect. Dude, epic. We got three Murray cod in one day. Not a bad one at all. Look at that. On the same exact spinner bait that John just caught his on. Couldn't write it any better than that, dude. Unbelievable. Wow. I thought you were messing with me. I was like, no. How does that feel? We were just talking about whether we're gonna leave tonight or not. How does that feel? <laughs> Dude, perfect finish to day one. Three Murray Cod. Pretty much all we could ask for. And then, and then some. There she goes. Amazing. Thank you, Mick. Thank you, Ben. Awesome job. Right I'm buzzing right now. Mission oh, that's accomplished. So Bit of a blackout last night, guys. Here's basically what went down. Scott, myself, Ben, and Mick all caught cod. We prevailed at the very end of the trip. It was huge, but after that moment, after that pinnacle, it was just a straight fall. We had not gotten any sleep in more than 24 hours. It was freezing cold. We'd been driving all day, we'd been fishing all day. And I honestly like don't even remember half of the drive, but we drove all the way from New South Wales, the cod spot, back to Brisbane. And that's where we're at today. Woke up bright and early this morning. Uh, at Ben's place, you shout out to Ben and his wife for letting us sleep at his pad. Uh, I don't even remember getting in, it was so wiped. We woke up this morning to chase after yet another legendary Australian fish species, that being the famous Australian bass, which by the way looks nothing like a largemouth or small, but it's a little bit similar in the sense that they've got the same type of mouth, they eat swim baits, they eat crank baits and jigs and stuff like that. So we are gonna chase after those guys this morning, and then after that, take another seven hour drive, a big haul, all the way up north to fish with a dude by the name of Sam, another Australian angler, and he's gonna teach us his ways. It's pretty dope because we're just kind of figuring this all out and having a bit of guidance is always key. Today we lowered the gear a bit, 
we're using some more finessier stuff. I've got a little tiny swim bait on a, what is this, a 7-2 rod, and we're chasing after yet another endemic native Australian fish species, that being the Aussie bass, which is a little bit different than the bass we have back at home, but they're kind of similar in a sense. They've got mouths shaped like a bass. They chase lures, they eat swim baits, they eat jigs. We're just kind of doing a half day session, like a quarter day session before we have to get back on the road seven hours north and fish for uh, some more bucketless fish. We crossed a huge bucketless fish off yesterday, that being the cod. We all caught one there at the end of the day. And now we are going to um, see if we can catch one of these elusive bass. You ready? I think ready. we gotta go, I think we gotta go swimming. Yeah, let's do it. On Ben. Yes. I got a feeling it doesn't feel like a bass, but there's some weight there. Oh. That's what we come here for. Sweet. Beautiful Australian bass. Yeah. He has absolutely swallowed that. He ain't coming off because he is absolutely. Now that, look at that. You couldn't get that much further down his gut. He's really full in the belly. Usually in the winter, they get a bit more conditioning on them. They got some nasty spikes on the side. You gotta be careful of sometimes. A little bit of a gill rake on there. One here, there's a little bit of a blade on the side there. They can cut you up pretty nasty, but they're pretty, pretty tame sort of fish. No teeth, much like, they got a bit of a raspy jaw. There you have it, Aussie bass. He might be about a 35 centimeter fish. That's about average out here. It's, uh, it's not big by any stretch of the imagination, but really nice fish. Yeah, he's in the game. Hey, hey, hey. No need to splash the lens like that. How good? Well, we tried. We gave it our all. I don't think he even got a single bite. I saw a few flickers out there. Ben did come in with a nice fish. Scott did pretty much nothing. Yeah, we're tied one to one on this, on this fish catching trip. All right, you wanna go on the road? No, we're we have to we have to drive. Seven hours of driving. We gotta meet Sammy. John's probably gonna make me drive all the hours just no, like I'm he not. has let's this go. whole trip. Let's go. I'm whole not. trip. No, no. What's that? I don't even hear that. Okay, I think these still go, right? Yeah, yeah why not? Why not? Screw it. Send it. I have absolutely no idea where we're going right now. Is Buddy coming? Is it our car or what is it like? Are we taking two cars? Um, no, I think we're taking two cars because he asked if we had off-road capabilities and I said yes. minutely. Right here, is this good? Yo, here we are. Day number three in Yapoon, Queensland. I've never been here before. This place is sick. Came here super late last night. Woke up this morning right around 6.30ish. Met up with Sam. We're at Sam's place right now. Sam Gibson. Uh, he's a young dude. He's like 21. He actually just turned 21. It's his birthday today. So, we just had a quick chat with him, went over the game plan. It sounds like we got a pretty sick day ahead of us. We're gonna split up today. Might do some inshore fishing in the morning and then maybe some off offshore fishing in the afternoon. I'm unbelievably pumped. The sweetest part about this expedition here in Australia is that every place that we stop off at, we're fishing new fish, new waters, and linking up with completely new anglers. So last year you guys saw we fished with Mick and Ben. This time we're fishing with Sam. In two days we'll fish with someone else. It's like really cool. We're not only getting to meet some new fish, but some awesome people. And uh, Sam hopefully will show us some good waters. You ready? Yeah, man. This is so different than what we fished last time. Last one we woke up, I couldn't even feel my feet. I had freaking icicles into my toes last time we fished. So this is worlds apart from what we were doing just a few days ago. Cod were badass, that scenery is dope. 
can't downplay this, but this is cool to change things up completely. It's so funny, you can travel seven hours north and you're in paradise. Unbelievable. Oh yeah, he's, he's hooked up. Barra? Sam's hooked up right now. Oh yeah. Flathead, oh my God. <laughs> Damn it, it's right. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my God. Yeah. Big shovel. <laughs> they got like two pectorals, like they got two freaking fins. Like yeah, they actually got here. pretty decent like little fins on them. Oh my God, yeah. Yeah, he's got, they got pretty cool tails, man. There he goes. First doink of the day, courtesy of Sam. That was a really sick fish I wanted to see on this trip. That is a flatty or a flathead. It's basically like Australia's version of flounder or like a halibut or something like that. Doesn't quite look exactly the same, but they're completely bottom dwelling fish. They're, I would say, pretty targeted fish here in Australia. And to see one is, is pretty rad. Hopefully we can catch one of those along with that gold species being the barramundi. This is the spot though. We're working this uh, area where there's current coming in. We've got some mangroves pushing the backside and then a nice little sand flat. It's pretty deep out there. I want to say it's roughly two to three meters, which is a call it to like six feet. So we're throwing the shrimp in there, letting that pendulum sink down and waiting for the big thump. I'm feeling good. There's a little mini tarpon rolling right now. Got flatties, hopefully got some barramundis too. And give them hell. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. <laughs> What's it feel like? See what good? Not too heavy. It's a fish though. It's a tarpon? What the hell do you have? That's a GT, I'm pretty sure. A little GT. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Just working the shrimp like we're supposed to. And wound up with a GT. That's gotta be the last thing that I would have ever expected. Just a juvenile GT. Well, I was hoping to catch one of these this trip. Interesting bycatch to our uh, Barra mission. The juvenile giant trevally. My first one. I'm okay with catching them like this. Definitely keeps things interesting. On the mission looking for that Barra. But that is pretty cool, right? Not a bad way to start things off here. Oh, you f There he is. There we go. It's not big. Whatever it is. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> so sick. Oh, so gnarly. <laughs> That's so cool. No, he just pulled, like like almost like a catfish, you know? Yes, first fish of the day, and it's actually a really sick one. Check this guy out. Look at him swimming. I'm bringing him up towards Alex right now. Oh, wow, it's really deep. Tide's coming up. That's, that's past my jimmies. Yes. All right. So these guys are really awkward to hold. Look at that thing. Such an insane fish, man. My first ever flathead. Not one of the uh, target species we want to catch on this trip, but it's something that's honestly so unique to Australia. Just such a crazy fish. Look at their eyes. Their eyes don't even look like normal. Oh! Oh my God! That thing was big! Did it break you off? Scott just jumped a f enormous barramundi. Enough to make me scream at the top of my lungs. Like I said prior, it's not the target one. Just such a crazy looking like animal. Like what the hell? It doesn't even look like it looks this looks like if there were fish on Mars, this would be the one. This would be the fish. Let's get him unhooked and then uh, go for the release. Flatties! <laughs> oh my god, they're such you can tell they're really good at camouflaging. The whole body is the same color of the sand that we're walking on. Really radical. What the hell? Look look at this thing. He's just chilling. That's probably the coolest release ever. Never released a fish where I just put him back in the water and he just sits there. Oh, there he goes. Just keep rolling. Okay. I just want to touch on what you guys probably just missed. I wish we had a GoPro on Scott right now. Scott's throwing the little shrimp, same thing I'm throwing right now. All I hear is like the line get tight, like whee! like this. I look over and this barramundi comes up and it's like 
Dude, it literally looked like it was this big. It was humongous. There's a lot we can catch in the salt. I like fishing in the salt water because it's just, it's a crapshoot. You don't know what you're gonna hook into. And this is one of the reasons why I like coming here to Australia is because they got so many different species that pull hard. Let's go stick a Mundy. Okay, so we're walking back from the Bear Mundy mission. Jumped one, caught some flathead. We're not done yet. We're still gonna target some more. But in the meantime, we're wreaking havoc <laughs> on the puffer fish scene. Uh, Look at that one. Get him, get him. Oh, we need that There one. he goes. Yeah, that's a donkey. Dude, that is a donkey. Do not let that one go. Oh, I got, you got him. him. <laughs> I don't got know that. how I got I him. I got that whole thing. <laughs> just put him here. There you go. That's just gnarly. That is just gnarly. Dude, there's just thousands of these guys out here. Quick release. There he goes. I'm pretty sure they're like poisonous, like not much eats them. So uh, they're pretty tame, like they're chill, like when you hold them up, they're, just because they're confident that they know no one's going to mess with them. But yeah, this whole tidal pool is just full of crabs and pufferfish, nothing else. We'd not be able to find anything else in here. But we did find a mud skipper, which is pretty rad. You just got to enjoy the little things, guys. That little dude, ah, ah, he's pinching me. Catch and release crab. This is fun though. This is why I love saltwater. It's such a big ecosystem. There's so much you can do. Fish deep, fish shallow. Do all kinds of stuff. Definitely put some miles in this thing. Yeah. You ready? Ready, boss. Let's get it. Big day. Well, guys, I've got good news. The Bear Money mission continues. We're and taking the battle to the boats. What's, Were you going to say something? What's the bad news? There was no bad news. Sometimes it's just good news. Oh, the bad news is, is I have to wear these all day. Because I'm going to catch a giant bear money, and that's the deal. If I catch a giant bear money, i got to wear these guys all day. Like, i got to sleep in whoever, them, too. Whoever catches the big bear money. I, I think these are Smith Optics. Oh, they are, actually. Yeah. Okay, cool. What? Whoever gets the big bear money gets to wear these for the rest of the day. So I'm going <laughs> to probably be wearing these. All right. So, yeah, we're taking the boats out. Foot mission was dope. Caught some flatties. Jumped one big bear. But uh, Jake's gonna join us as well, along with, of course, Sam. We got two rigs, a lot of anglers. Let's get them, I'm feeling it. Yep, 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 he's on. No way, no freaking way. No freaking way. No freaking way. Oh, 100%, dude. Oh my God, I can't believe this. I, I hear it. Dude, I just reeled down and there's a fish. There's a fish? Yeah, not bad. Oh my God, we're way too quiet for this moment right now. Oh, about 70. I'm shaking, dude. Keep going. Oh. Go again. Oh. Just no hook set, dude. I just didn't get a hook set in it. I like literally reeled out of it. Can you believe that? I don't think you saw a whole lot of excitement there, partially because I was in like full dream mode. That felt super surreal. We've been fishing all day for these things and finally we've got on the boat. And like, that was like one of those scenarios. I was looking at a cloud that looked like an elephant and I pick my rod up and it's just like straight weight. I'm like, yo, Sam, is this happening? Like, is this for real? Got really tense there for a second. Big fish, pretty good fish. Got right to the boat, does what most big fish do and spits the hook. Like didn't even break, didn't thrash and jump and spit it just almost like he wasn't even hooked. So that's a tough feeling, but it makes this battle even more, um, it makes this mission even more rewarding when it hopefully happens. But that hurts. That like really, really hurts because that's a fish that, you know, that was one of our goal, that was one of our goal species. Luckily we have tomorrow to, to target these guys as well, but it was that close. Scott was this close today. I was this close today. 
It's gonna happen, it's just gonna take some time. Scott, how, yep. how'd you uh, end up doing during that session? Uh, I did about as well as John. We, well, not not necessarily as well as John. John did have a barra. I did not. I missed a couple fish. I broke off three jigs on snag, so did Jake. Jake was so yeah. scarred from breaking off that he stopped fishing altogether. I started catching logs. So day one of barra fishing seems to be over. We've each hooked one now, me and John, and neither one of us have landed one, so it's kind of jumping higher on the radar to get these things crossed off but it might have to wait another day. Oh, today is the day. Today is a successful bear ascent. What a, what maybe we'll catch him, maybe we won't, but we're gonna, we're gonna go out trying. Today is the day that we make it happen. Welcome to day number four. We're back where we left off the last video that you guys saw. This is the ramp in that water. Hopefully some giant bear Monday and this is our last shot to make it happen. Sam's freaking ready. Look at him. It's a straight ritual. That's the ritual. You gotta wear like backwards clothing. But hey, guys, see that real quick? Yeah. By the way, guys, I wanna show you guys what um, we're getting these fish on. Little, tiny, scrizams. Big swim baits also work good for these fish, top waters. But uh, to get these finicky fish in this cold weather, you gotta slow things down, so that's what we're gonna do, slow it down and crank on some fish keys. Get them. You ready? Yeah. Ready. Zing. We've just uh, changed locations. The first spot we fished was the original spot that we left off last time. Now we're on a different zone, the tide's coming up, and we're fishing a pretty monstrous school of fish. Finding these fish is not the hard part. The hard part is getting them to open up and take the bait. Like, like how many how many bear money do you think we've seen today? Probably close to 70. Oh, on the, we've probably seen over probably, like- There's probably 60 here. There's probably 60 total bear money that we're casting right now. It's just insane. But getting that bait in front of the right, Kidding me. Go again, go again. Getting that bait in front of the right, boom, and I got hit. Do you see my rod? It rocked. It was like, it was like that. It was a cold barrel. Just got hit. Just, just got hit. I was literally in the mid sentence. I was like, getting the right one to bite, and before I could get bite out of my mouth, I got twerked. Yeah? Did you get hit too? Yeah, it was a barrel. Oh my god. They're here. Yeah. We're on them. It's bear time. Uh, this thing's cool, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, I'm having fun here. Another flathead. Eater size. Why don't you do this? Oh, I got him good, though. If that was a bear, it would have been a cheap. Look how he moves his head. I could not catch another flathead for the rest of my life and be totally cool with it. <laughs> it feels just like a bear Monday. <laughs> wow. This one's for you, uh, GT Buster. You. <laughs> what are you reckon? Forty kilos? Yeah. <laughs> It's not a 30, it's just a salmon. It's a blue salmon. It's actually kind of a cool looking thing. Yeah, man. Look at that. They, they feel with that, I'm guessing? Yeah, they're definitely. Little the, barbels. Like you see the big threadies, they've got the real big ones. Yeah, these are yeah. just little ones. Similar to the threadies. Weird looking fish, dude. Yeah. Nice. Nice? Not a barrel. The barrel will eat those guys, won't they? Oh, yeah. That's bait. Jesus. 
Target species, boys. Yeah, nice, yeah. nice spots. They got really cool eyes, eh? That's a uh, gold spot estuary cod. Yeah. So you get the gold spot and the black spot. Pretty easy to tell. This little fella's got all these gold spots all over him. The black spots will be slightly different, but they also have black spots. Very, um, very snag oriented fish. We could not the right one, mate. <laughs> Let's get him. Sam, can we catch anything but barramundi today, please? What is that? Is that a barramundi? No. Tarpon, oh my god. Get him! Get him! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> it's a tarpon. So that's that's our like average to decent sized yeah. tarpon here. Yeah, that's like a good one. Like that's like a half right decent now. one, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what that is, that's a Pacific tarpon, very different than what you guys used to seeing back uh, in the States. They don't get very big. The ones back home get like 150 plus pounds, but that's a good one. That's, very a, that's a pretty decent one. Yeah, it's a cool fish. It's just looks exactly one. like a tarpon. Exactly the same, yeah. but. <laughs> <laughs> Wish we had the big ones. Yeah. That was sick. That was sick. Well, this is like a species day. Hey. hey, Sam, can we catch anything but a barramundi, please? But yeah, we're uh, we're still on school. It's school number three that we're on right now. They're just very tough. The water's not quite warm enough yet. I mean, I'm gonna say it without 100% saying it. It's just not 100% ideal as far as the weather goes. When we leave, I guarantee it's gonna be like 70, 80 degrees Fahrenheit and it's gonna get so hot and this water temp's gonna get up to 24 and they're going to munch. As much as it sucks that we're not catching the snot out of them right now, we still have got the grind attitude and we're still gonna make some cast. It was a cool fish though, tarpon are dope. On the way down, just like you're saying when it pendulums. I like our odds here. Queenie. Oh, that's no way. That's very sick. Wow, nice job. Pretty decent one too. Very Not awful. Yeah. You quickly net that. That's sick. They do have spines like right under them. Just careful that. I just, oh no, I didn't know about queens until I came. Yeah, bear, bear, a little bear. Yeah, it's a little bear. No way. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, bro. Yes. <laughs> Put it there. Nice. <laughs> Nicely done. Doesn't matter. If it was freaking one centimeter or 120, doesn't matter. That is unreal. Little, little that is the stupid thing we've been after for two days. <laughs> and he's a wee little guy. They got some teeth. Two days. Broke the curse. Two days for that guy right there. Two days for that. Oh, it's a bad It's a start. We just took like, what, 40 casts there and finally got one, so we might get another we might chance. Get another. Uh, I reckon we should get him back and you guys should start casting. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Well, there it is. We did it. Now let's go get a baggie. They're here. I don't know. No, what is it? Tarpon? That guy's lucky he still has a draw. Wow. Something with teeth. Really?
<laughs> what are you doing, dude? Gimme, gimme, gimme. In the net, boys. That is what I'm talking about. That is the <laughs> fish of the day. All right, now break it off. Wow. Done. Done. Well, I can say one thing is, is these bare money goggles, they didn't work today. Uh, I thought that this would add some luck to today's bite, but they sure as hell didn't. As you can see, the sun is setting so beautifully behind the trees, and we are still without a bare, well, I, won't, I don't want to say we're without a bare money because Sam did catch one. It was uh, all of yay big. It was a good fish. We got to see one. It was really cool, but it wasn't the big one we were after. And I still have not caught one. Scott still has not caught one. It's a big struggle. He's resorting to extreme tactics, fully finessed to the bottom of the deck. Is that so they don't see you or hear you or what? You yeah. sneak you. You gotta sneak up on him. Sneak up on him. You gotta be real quiet. You gotta do a little sneaky sneak. A little sneaky little snake. It's been pretty brutal out here. There's there's nothing I think that we've done wrong. It's just that water temps haven't been there. They're bare Monday. They can suck sometimes. They suck at the best times. Yeah, right? they suck at the best times. Uh, and uh, I guarantee once Scott and I leave, here in Yapoon, uh, they'll start chomping, right? Yeah, they'll it. start eating that's real it. good. Yeah, We're literally, so. literally fishing in cults now. Yeah. <laughs> Nick! Goddamn! Here we go! <laughs> Sam's normally a lefty, so he's just all. No, you're a righty. I'll wander, I'll wander, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> you first, you come out here often and do this whole bear Monday thing, or? Oh man, all the time. <laughs> I'm fishing go. with a left hand there reel. There there They're hooking each other up. Now we have a three-way tangle. I'm avoiding the shot. You got it. 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 You got it though. Seriously? No way. No way. You don't think so? No. Sure. Not pulling over. I can get the net. It's a flatty. It's a flatty. Good sauce, good sauce. Oh my god, that's Stan. I'm gonna call him Desmond. Oh, Stan. Desmond, yeah. Hey, Desi. Wow. Not bad. I like to see him when he's about 50 kilos. Though. Yeah, get bigger. Get bigger. <laughs> well, if we're gonna end on a fish, that's a pretty damn cool one. That's a GT. You guys. That's a proper GT. Yeah, that's, yeah. So that's the one. That's a. That's a yeah. I like they're to see so them. pristine looking when they're young, right? Like, there's no bash marks or anything. Yeah. You guys probably know the GT. I, I freaking rave about this fish. I filmed many videos chasing these guys, and that's just a wee one. No bare money tonight, but at least we have this beautiful consolation. Go for that fat release, bud. Fat release. Nice job. Just give me a phone call when he's 65 kilos, eh? <laughs> he just gets clapped by bare money. <laughs> yeah, just drop it in there. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> straight up. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> Saratoga is kind of a weird fish. It's one of those fish that I've wanted to target for quite some time since I met Jake. Jake's the guy that we've been fishing with for the past few days. I actually originally met him in the Amazon and we connected on fishing for peacock bass and also arowana. Arowana is a fish that's very similar to Saratoga, but not quite. And Saratoga are native to Australia. You can pretty much only catch them in Australia. Since we started in Brisbane down south and made our way up north to now uh, just west of Rockhampton, we have been solely trying to catch a new species every single day, which we've pretty much succeeded in doing so. The bear Monday were hard, of course, because of the weather, but we are now on a different scene 
that being chasing after Saratoga. So this is something that Jake is really keen on doing. He's been doing this for how many years? I've been doing it for around 12 years now. A fairly long time. And that's like your fish. That's, like that's what you really like to That's what up. I chase. Yeah. We're going to be sight casting, walking along stealthily because they do spook. Do so they? Yeah. It's just like hunting. So walk along, sight them, and then we'll lead cast them so that we're not going to spook them. Sit a stick bait in front. I think we'll start with a popper, see the kind of reaction we get and have yeah, Rod's here to switch bait to straight away. So sick. It's all visual. See what we can get them to eat on. All visual, all surface baits. Like you said, you're literally hunting for these guys on top. It's the best way of fishing ever. And I'm pretty excited to show you guys what these guys look like. First ever time fishing for them. So this is this is huge. Let's uh, let's get to cast and get to ripping. Right now we're on the prowl, looking for these Saratoga. They're a surface-oriented fish. They like the top. They eat lizards, insects, frogs. Again, this is straight out of Jake's mouth right now. But they're just such a crazy fish. I hope we can catch one today to show you guys how weird they look. They look like a cross between a dragon and an eel. It's the closest way I can describe them. We just saw one. We spotted a nice one. It's right up on the surface, just slowly cruising. Gonna get a good cast at it, so we let it be. But this is intense, man. This is like the exact type of fish I enjoy doing. Total sight, just freaking zoning it on him and making big casts. This one? Yeah. There he is. See? Yep. Take a crack. So to the right again. Now wind it. Wind, 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 quick. Now stop. No way, that was so sick. That was so sick. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh God. That is a good fish. Oh. Oh, that was so dirty. <laughs> You gotta be joking me. It's barely hooked. Yeah. Barely hooked. Very yeah. light. Careful, careful, Jake. <laughs> just, just in towards you. Yeah. Careful. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Wow. Nicely done, man. That was incredible. That was truly incredible. I'm gonna leave him hooked. Yeah. Just open bail. Here. Let me help you out, bud. How big is Do that? Do it. Thing? That was That's not a, big, not a huge one, but it's, it's so a dope. good size. Yeah, it's a good average Holy fish. Awesome, that was so intense. Awesome. You pinned him right in the yeah. top. Perfect. Yo. <laughs> Do you want me in there? Yeah, I've been with. Yeah, of course. That was a that was a team effort right there. First ever Saratoga. Now you guys understand is why I'm so excited to chase after these guys. Hot. Same. I'm like shivering right now. That was mega intense. Oh man. We we freaking initially. We initially spotted this guy in some snags, watched his track, watched where he was going. He went back, forth, back, forth, and finally I slid out in the log. John with the oars. Made a cast. Him. Yeah, and he ate. What a wild looking fish. So that's Look that's an pass. average fish, but really? they're, very, they're very healthy here. Like Yeah, it's a gorgeous fish. That there, the thickness on them, and that's only, what, 65? Really? Something like that. So, so incredible. <laughs> they get that little bit bigger and then their girth and their depth gets a lot bigger. So, wow. yeah, so yeah, look at the colors on them. Look at the, yeah, look at their pecs, look at their tail. Yeah. It's very different. I know, they're in very, in, in, in pic, the pictures don't do them justice, I don't think. Your teeth chill, right? Like, yeah, they're, they're, they're really hardy okay, fish. Cool. You just, you swim them a bit longer. Time for the release. Just like that? Mega. That was mega. Mission success. Saratoga on top. That took, what, five minutes? So we're gonna, we're gonna have a really good day. Here. Oh my God. Dude, he crushed it. This type of fishing is like really a team oriented thing. All of us are here taking turns with these fish. Uh, we saw that fish, we tracked it. While I was over there, Scott was screaming that it's coming back. 
finally got on that log, made that juicy cast right in front of his face and just absolutely inhaled it. Did not think they would be that aggressive. From now, we're basically just gonna take turns. Scott's up next, and then I reckon Sam, and then um, maybe Alex takes a swing of one. That'd be crazy. Yeah, we were seeing a lot of fish. That's our third fish we've seen today in the matter of like 10 minutes. So it's just, it's, it's definitely uh, one of those days where it's just on. Everything is just planning right. Weather's good, water temp's good. Fish are hungry. Go to top water and see if it'll um, draw him up, but he is sitting down that little bit deep. And out past him. Oh, okay, oh, oh, stop. Oh. Pause, pause, pause. Just wait, just wait. Yeah, give it a twitch. Pause it, give it a twitch. Yeah. Oh, oh no! Oh no! He didn't feel hooks. So oh. Just wait. Oh. That was a bite. That now. was sick. There's the little right there, right there. Should I hit this little guy? Yeah, give it a go. Fine. So just flick the cast down in front. Oh god, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah, just yep. wait. He'll come to it. He'll come to it. Twitch. Twitch. Yep. Get him, Sadok. <laughs> nice. nice. <laughs> so sick. That was cool. <laughs> Oh, sorry. oh sorry, You're good, Jake. <laughs> I got him. Sick. Yo! I got him. Hell yeah. Saratoga. Dude, they're eating. Everyone's eating. They're, they're fired up. First Saratoga. Me and John have had a tough couple days with the Barra. So far, these fish are fired up. We're looking at more right now, so we're gonna get right back to it. Dude. Let's go! So sick. Saratoga fishing. I've had shots at Arowana and Arapaima before, and this is the last one. And they've lived up to the hype. Gonna go find some more. What's that? Good work, Good job, Scott. Mate. That's awesome, uh, man. Hey. hey, hey. Is that a sloth up in the tree? <laughs> he just pulled the sloth joke on me. <laughs> I guess he can since he just put us on a toga. That's it, you guys. We, we knocked off yet another big species for the Australian tour. Put her there. Yeah. Bang. Yes, courtesy of... Uh, We've gone now. That we were just saying the fact that these guys eat on the surface is what makes it like heart pounding. Like you, like it's so funny because my heart was racing. I was like, I wonder if it will do the same to him. He turns to me. He's like, dude, I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> like it's a lot for a fish that is uh, about this big. It's freaking epic. Like they come in so slow, and you know they're right about to get in, just waiting, waiting, one bump, and then. Yeah. But that's what's so exciting oh, about yeah. it is, is that say how they've come up slow on that. You'll come here on another day or the next fish. And instead of being that slow follow-up, you'll land a lure on the water and it'll charge it from like three meters away. The task is just get every single one of this one. Yes! Are you kidding me, dude? Are you oh kidding me? Oh my god. Epic. Incredible. Oh, that's a good one. That's not a bad fish. Yeah. Oh, how sick was that? That is so sick, man. <laughs> you have no idea what that means to me. <laughs> oh, Toga man. on the fly. Good. Grab him, grab him, grab him. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, man. Put Cheers, it there. <laughs> Dude, Yo, dude, that's so dude, wicked, dog, man. Dude, that's a good oh, one. Just support the belly. Oh, man. I've um, only recently started on fly like over the last year or so. And this is one of my one of my bucket list fit, like Aussie fish to try and get on the fly. And it's happened. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's so good. I can't, I can't believe it, man. It, like, first, that is my first shot ever at a toga on fly. Like, for, that's the first cast I've ever made it on. That just happened really well, man. Thank you the so much. Way you pause that, man. Perfect, yeah. like, yeah. Run it straight in front, twitch, twitch, and yeah. ate it. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Right, so man. good. Thank you so much. I'm so happy with that. It's so hard to hold, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That is awesome. 
Yeah, I, I've wanted that fish so badly, eh? And like, I've never even had a shot at one. And for the first shot to come up tight like that. Oh, that's like Christmas, eh? That's my birthday present. So after that, I didn't realize that, you was your first toga ever? On the fly, yeah. So it's pretty crazy. We came out here to knock out a bucketless fish. And I had no idea that Sam was also on the hunt for something big as well, that being a toga on the fly. So that whole moment was rad. The coolest thing about this fishing is like one person is up and the rest are kind of just watching and seeing what goes down. So that was a big intense moment. Gurgler went doot doot, came in and, and just chomped it. So uh, we've pretty much done the full rotation. I think we might hand the rod off to dude behind the camera right now. The toga are munching. Okay. Yeah. We're going there. Oh. That's a good fish. Come to you. Yeah, I can. I can. I'm, I'm trying to see him now. Okay, I see him, I see him, I see him. Perfect. Okay, now give it a little wine. A little wine. Just wind it. Wind, 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 wind. You need to get it closer. Stop. Yep. Got him. <sighs> he's, he's, he's looking for it. Get it back out there straight up. Straight up. Just land near him. He'll get that. Just pause. Go. Yep. 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 Wait, wait. Got it, got it. Yes! Keep it up, up high, up high, the snags. Oh, he just popped out. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That Dude, what an eat. <laughs> Yo, did you get the eat? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I got a bunch of eat? Dude, I'm cool with that eat. Like, that's just dope. So when they start doing that, like, figure eight circle. Like, this is like, landed on their head. So the day is over. I can give you guys my now. I can give you guys my overall opinion as to what I think about this type of fishing. It is a lot of fun, but you can go hero to zero really quickly. I'm not realizing how important that first bite was. How many fish did we jump today? Yeah, like, many. Yeah, many, 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 many. I'll answer for you, many. But at Big least we fish. caught one. Yeah, we caught we freaking jumped some like a 70 centimeter fish is kind of the, the goal. 70 plus, I should say. Like 75 is a big one. Anything above that's just behemoth. But I got a taste of this fishing. And it was fun. Huge shout out to Jake for taking us out here. This was quite the treat. Since the sun is setting, we're kind of losing that, that primo light to fish for these guys. And the darker it gets, the harder it is to sight cast them out. So we're going to get back in the Land Cruiser and travel back east. And we're going to continue our Australia road trip up north about four hours to fish with a dude by the name of Triggy. And he's going to show us even some more lush, amazing fishing opportunities. But this was in freaking incredible. If you guys ever come to Australia, put Saratoga on your list. Thank you, dog. Let's roll. Well, hey guys, we're here. We've made it to the boat ramp. We're about to get after it. I'm literally looking forward to fishing with Triggy. I'm not fishing with him, I literally just met him today. So uh, that's kind of what this whole trip has been revolved around is meeting new fish and also new people and fishing with them. So we're on a pretty decent little river system. It's actually a saltwater river. We're gonna go after two main fish species and then who's to tell what we catch on the side. It's, it's saltwater and we're in Australia. Species target is um, barramundi mainly. Yes. We're gonna head over the other side. There's a heap of snags over there. Hopefully they're on the move there and then basically we'll just work it upstream. And as that tide pushes out, we'll just Pretty much follow everything out, try and do the same thing, casting on bends, structure, and hopefully hook up big. Is it? Down on the fish a lot of times. Oh yeah, 100%. And that's kind of unpredictable though. I felt weird. Yep. Yep. Fish. You have no idea what it is? 
Oh, little cod. Good cod. <laughs> Quick tip if you guys ever want to catch a bunch of different species other than barramundi, just target barramundi. First gold spot cod ever. Dude, something really cool fish. Eat. Really? We're up. Yeah. yeah. So something tried to chop them. Really pretty fish. Not, this isn't uh, the one, but it's a cool little bycatch. I'm gonna put them back in the water. Looks like a little largemouth with uh, gnarly teeth. Ah. Skunk out of the boat. <laughs> All right, as you guys know, this is our third attempt at the legendary Barra. It's kind of a tough fish to catch in the winter time, as you may be able to tell. I've lost one, and I mean, this is our third day chasing for them. They don't come easy, but we're fishing in different conditions today. The water temp's a lot warmer than it was last time we fished. Prior, it was Sam, it was like 18 degrees Celsius, and this time it's about 21 and rising. So we're fishing a little bit faster today. We're using these things called uh, Vibes, like a soft vibe. Honestly, I've never seen anything like this before uh, until I came to Australia. It's essentially like, I don't know, like a lipless crankbait, but soft. It's like a soft plastic. It's got two trebles on there. I switched out the rear one to something a little bit more meaty. That's a 4X and they got like a probably 2X or 3X in front. And you just work it like a lipless. Let it sink in the bottom, rip it up, let it drop, rip it up, let it drop. And it's, I would say probably like fishing for walleye in the springtime, just taking a rattle bit and going like this. There's no sound. It's just purely vibration. That's so key, apparently. Sam was saying that uh, in order to get these fish to eat, especially in these dirty waters, you need movement. You need something that really wiggles fast. So I can imagine like a chatterbait or something like that would do good. But this is what we're using. Soft vibe day. Completely different tactics, same fish, and different scenario. Cod is not on the list though, although that was pretty dope. Let's go get another one. Sorry to interrupt. You good? Still good, Mike. Yeah. Yeah. Barra. No way. No way. That is a barramundi. I cannot believe it. Oh, it was a barramundi. It, it was a barramundi. That was a barramundi. <laughs> That's it, though. No, no, you looked at later. Looked you could at, see I it. it so yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. All right, here we are back on the scene. We actually picked up another local stick that you guys probably recognize from the last uh, Australia trip on the Rock Series. We got Wilksy here, aka Rhino. He's already got some troubles this morning, so he's joining us on the boat. He's going to help us track down some barra and some whisker fish. What are they called? Threadies. Why threadies. do I? <laughs> threadies. But uh, one thing I didn't realize is this place is absolutely chock full of crocodiles. We're fishing uh, not only around some big fish, but also some very big lizards. Uh, Wilksy just caught a thready. First one I've ever seen in person. A absolutely insane fish. And then Triggy just had a bear Monday. Swear to God, if I catch a 120 today. No, actually, if I catch one over 100. I'll belly slide, 100%. Is that a challenge? Mark my word. We anyway. Like, we need like 101. Yeah, now they're gonna work really hard. <laughs> like we're gonna we're gonna find some fish. But no, we're we're definitely on some fish right now. This is looking really bright. Um, steel throwing, little vibes right now. We're all throwing vibes. That seems to be the ticket in this dirty cold water. I like it. I'm feeling it. Let's go get bit. I'm just worrying about catching my one fish. Yeah. <laughs> You're only allowed one a day. Oh, f I just got pumped. Oh, there you go. Oh god. Oh no! It was big! Oh, it made it boil. It was either a big f***ing bear or a big f***ing oh, There we go. There we go. There we go. What is it? I don't know. Maybe a bear? Oh, oh, it's a, a jack. You got a micro jack. It's a nice one. <laughs> yeah, bro. No way. Nice one. That's so <laughs> sick. That Not is. even upset. You Not even upset. Really? Is that pretty <laughs> uncommon? Yeah. No way. It's my first micro. It's my first uh, jack in Australia. Of course, we're fishing for barra, <laughs> and I catch the uncommon species. Dude, I'm cursed. Hello. You fish seven years, and you never call. I am cursed by the barramundi. Little mangrove jack. Yeah, he's a really cool fish. Very aggressive fish. Um, a lot of Aussies target these guys, right? Yeah, a lot of Aussies. Yeah. 
They're water. really fun to catch. But just another species, tick it off the list. Ah! <laughs> Sick! Yeah. Coolest release ever. What do you guys expect? There we go. There we go. I don't watch that. That might be a bear. Jeez. Oh, yeah, he is moving. There we go. Ready? Yes. First thready. Nice one. Unreal. Those guys freaking run. You were struggling with tape. This is seven to four, too. It's good. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. How do you hold them? Just lip them? So cool. What the hell? Look at this fish. Look at the nose on it. Yeah, they got this weird nose. They got these insane little, um, they call them barbels almost. Like these whiskers? Yeah, whiskers. They use it for feeling on the bottom, right? Yeah, feeling they the actually bottom. use feeling those things. Fish. It's a fish that we didn't expect to catch this trip, but I'm so glad we got to encounter. Right now, we're, we're, again, we're trying to catch barrow, but these guys are eating like crazy and they're so much fun. They run really fast. You wouldn't think a fish that looks like this would be so agile, but this guy put up a good fight. Epic fish. Look at their mouths, too. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> he swam up on the bank. <laughs> that's so rad. Fish from that's a true fish from Mars right there. This is why I love fish in Australia. That one? That was sick. What is it? That's a barra. That's a barra. Oh, yes, yes. Keep him on. Keep him on. Keep tension. You got this. Was that up shallow? That's a barra. Got the net. That was last cast. Yeah, he's got the net. Keep tension. Keep tension. Keep tension. Oh, keep tension. Oosh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you net him there, dude. I just wanted to finish it. Finish it. Just, just yeah. Nice. Sweet. Yeah, Barramundi. Very cool. <laughs> That's dirty, man. Dude, That's he ate dirty. Him the drop, and I closed Did he really? Down. I already felt him swimming. Just Holy closed down moly. And him. Yes. Let's oh. go. Nice, dude. Who's Hell yeah. That? No, it's not bad at all, man. It's not like what, bad. 70? 60? Oh. We gotta go, man. I, I literally said, okay, guys, let's go. Last <laughs> I, I had been hanging, having everyone hang around because I was trying to catch a thread fin. And I was like, okay, one more cast. Cast in. And that's the one he ate on. <laughs> We've been working pretty hard for this yeah. fish. Three yeah, days. Did. Me and John have both hooked some, some really nice ones and they've come off. But this is the first one either of us have put in the boat on the final cast at this last spot before we we're going to make a big move. And one just kind of fell into my lap. Pretty sweet, amazing looking fish. One that I know me and John both have been dreaming of catching for a long, long time. Dirty. Wild Bear Monday. Nice. Awesome. One down, hopefully a couple more to go. Boom. Get it, not acquired. <laughs> nice, let's get another. Bear, 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 bear. Oh, nice bear. Or no, that's not a bear. That's a, yeah, thready. Oh, it came up like a bear. I was like, hold on. I'll continue. Oh, nice thready. Yeah, just didn't carry so. It was only just in there, right? Oh, yeah, bro. Continue story. Another thready. Lighter. Caught that bear. I got the skunk. Got the bear skunk out of the boat, and Triggy just nailed a nice thready. These threadies are fun. Oh, 
I got lit. I got lit up. We could have had a sick double. Oh, dang it. I got popped. Same spot you got hit. That's cool. You. That's cool. <laughs> Is that like the worst dunk? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's good. So here we are, we're still in Mackay. Woke up pretty early this morning to chase after some freshwater fish, some freshies. Yesterday, as you guys probably saw in the most recent video, we did a little bit of bear money. We finally caught the bear money, but today we're going after a fish that in some ways is actually more vicious, more aggressive, a different fish species you guys have not seen on this channel yet. It's been on my list for quite some time to knock off and it's called the Sudi Grunter. Apparently they're notorious for smashing hooks, breaking lines. They're so full of anger and rage that it puts them at the top of the target species list for uh, Australian anglers. So we're gonna chase after those guys now, completely on foot. We're going to Little Creek, one of my favorite types of fishing and hopefully smoke some fish. Try to avoid this nasty weather too, but uh, stick with and stay tuned. It's gonna be sick. Gonna be sick. Starting the day off with a US bait. This is a little uh, bull shed by uh, Ketchco. This is a bait that I've been using a ton for largemouth, but we're gonna see if it works for grunters. Gruntus, sorry, not grunters, grunter, grunta. Way yet, suities. No way. Yeah, yes, sir. How's it feel? It's a grunta. Yeah, Scott's hooked up right now. It looks nice. Dude, yeah, they pull hard, eh? Have you got confidence in that little nail guy? Yeah, oh, I just saw one bust. I just saw one bust up top. I just saw one literally surface. That got a little hectic. Did you get any of that? That was just the most ridiculous sequence of events. They're freaking thick with triple C's, man. This is about an average size. That's an average size, yeah. Yeah. So it's very, really thick in the shoulders. It almost reminds me like a mangrove snapper and maybe like some like it's like, like a, a black bass reminds me of too. Black bass, a little bit of smallmouth through the coloration. It's yeah. like a pale smallmouth. Just a totally unique and cool looking fish. That was so quick too. Very quick. Fourth cast, something like that. And the bigger they get, they start getting a lump. All right. Scott just put his back. Oh, there's another one. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, I think so. They're eating on the surface over there. I just had another bite right after Scott released his. Oh my God. I think I might fall in love with Sudi's this trip. Sooties are the new smallmouth. Sooties are the new smallies. Come on. Come back for it. I think top water is. Ah, oh, yes! So cool! <laughs> he ate the swim bait. Yes! He ate the swim bait. <laughs> Sooties! These guys are badass! <laughs> that thing ate the jointed swim bait. Oh wow, they're really strong. They put themselves sideways, like a GT almost. Like they are little jacks, aren't they? 
<laughs> I have caught one fish every day, no fish twice. This could be back to back cast with two CDs right here. John, I was saying we might get a double today. I love CDs. My first one ever, and I'm in love with these guys. Ooh, they're powerful. They're strong, dude. Very Flex. strong, yeah. yeah. Like, these are hooking the hands. They are too. Are they going to get some spikes there? I wonder what your fingers, bro. Oh, there's one in there. Thank you so much, Triggy. Triggy. Oh, Sooties! My first ever Sooty. What's your finger? Oh, oh push guy! Triggy, can you hold this for a moment? Yeah. As if we need another reason to stay in Australia. <laughs> Triggy took us Sooty fishing. These things are sweet. So dope. <laughs> so dirty, man. So dirty. Hell yeah. Totally unique. Yeah. Oh, they got some spines, dog. Yeah. Oh. There they go. Goose! Over there. Yes, sir. Sooties! <laughs> yes, grounders. So I don't know if you guys know this, but Check. the last time I was here in Australia, we did a Sooty mission, and I got swerved by like five of them. They're pretty awesome fish. I'm glad I got to experience these guys. Probably one of my, I keep saying like, I keep saying my new favorite fish. It was like, first I like cod, then I like Saratoga. These Sooties are dope though. This is so much like small fishing in creeks back in Illinois. Like really? literally identical. Clear water, cast, casting to brush, throwing swim baits, top waters. We'll probably catch a few more. This is our first drop-in zone in three bites. Three bites, yeah. Dirty. Put it there, Triggy. Bang. This is the first Ooh. hole. Yes. Good job, yes. Oh, boys. Right up, off to the next spot. Basically, what we're doing now, we're just fishing these big, deep water holes. The boys... Toga, get the toga. Tricks on the pole. It's a big toga, man. It's a big toga. Oh, he's got it! Oh my god! Oh my god! That was so sick. Get him! Oh, are you recording for any of that? Keep it on, keep it on. Big toga. You need help? I got. I'll help you. I'll help you. I'll help you. Keep going. I got him. I got him. Keep fighting him, keep fighting him. You're good, just go in, just go in. It's a big toga, dude. It's a big toga. Keep reeling. Just keep reeling, keep reeling. I, I can't do anything about the tree. Where's he at? Big toga. He's on. It's a giant toga. Oh my god. Keep. Careful. I got him. You got him. Oh my god. I got him. Okay, okay. He's good. Rod, he's good. Oh. He's good. He's oh good. <laughs> that was so sick. Oh, that was careful, so careful. sick. I got him upside down. We're good. Dude, We're my good. heart is pounding right now. I would leave him hooked. I'll leave him hooked, dude. That is a leave monster. Him I'll go, I'll go to, Bring him up. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. god, look at that toga. Oh, yeah, bro. That is huge. I think so. Yeah. You got the mat, just throw the mat out. Yeah. yeah. That's a giant toga. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go. Oh my god. I got the whole thing on GoPro. That is a fing dude. That is a Jake's like gonna, a 75. Jake's 80. gonna flip his Maybe an 80. Jake's gonna flip his dude. Your fing rod got hung up. I was like, this is not good. Oh I knew god. we were gonna get him though. Be careful holding this thing. Oh my god, dude. He wants to go. He's 80. Uh, what do you measure by the top? Dude, he's close to Unflexed. 80. 79. God. 79 centimeters. Just so short, good. just short of 80. That's a, oh dude, that's like, God. our biggest last time was 60. Yes! That is so sick, boys! That is good. Yes, sir! On a Sooty mission, we catch a mega toga. Do you want to hold your fish? I would like to, yeah. Okay. Wow, that is a mega toga. <laughs> wow. Help me out. Help me out. maybe get on the other side of me, dude. Uh, you're on my foot, buddy. You went in the water. I can't even move. I'm so it's so cool, side. man. Look at that. Yeah, I saw him. I thought it was a freaking suit.
on this duty mission, we've already pulled it off. And I thought, I saw what I thought was a Sudi, and I, all I saw was its head. And I pointed to John, John immediately realized it was a toga, and a huge toga. John put the top water right, right in, came short. I followed it right up with that twitch bait. He started falling, stayed on it slow, and one last twitch, and he smoked it. Didn't really expect to find a fish like that this trip. No. So we've actually got a, a group chat going with all the people we fish that fish with throughout this trip, including Ben and Nick, who we started this trip with. And I've not been in this chat this much, but I literally found some service right now just to send that picture to everyone because that was like the craziest moment of, like hands down. Like we slid down the bank to get this thing. I can't move by the way. Like look at this, I'm leaning all the way to the left. I'm stuck, totally stuck. That was epic. That was, says, that was, that was a bad surprise big, that trip. Big <laughs> I don't know if he's talking about you or the fish. Yeah, one last thing to look at, dude. Go check it out. Those Ooh. toga have nasty teeth. Yeah. Got me all trumped up. It was definitely worth it. I don't, I'm speechless. I can't happened. say anything. There's no, let's just go catch some more Sudis. Let's go. Let's, let's go. go back let's to go Sudis. dominate the Sudis. Let's now. go to the next hole. Yeah. Gar? Yeah. No way. Garfish. Oh yeah. Garfish, yeah. That's sick. Another species. Another species. Big, big cat. Crazy. This thing was fixed like a needlefish. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, another species. Oh! Big Sudi. Big Sudi. He's right there. Yes! So deep! So sick! On the pause, yeah, same one ate four times. So sick. So sick. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So cool. This is like the most action-packed creek we fished this entire trip. Man. Woo! That was really close. Wow, that is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Looks just like a needlefish. Imagine if we had those in our creeks. <laughs> ah, I don't wanna bite you. <laughs> Let me get you, hey. Well, Scott got the gar, I've got the Sudi. Second one of the day. God, they, this fish ate four times. These guys are mean little freaking guys. Now I see all the hype behind them. They're about as aggressive as a freshwater fish gets. Ready? I'm just gonna put them back right here. <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> Dude, that fish, that was the one that ate that first time. I let it just sit there, I let that swim bait just sit there and he came on. Whoosh. So much fun. Yeah, you hear that bird trying to yell? Here you. <laughs> oh, that was a good cast. <laughs> Got one? Yes. Yes. Good one. Are you just reeling it in? Steady your pace. Cool. Oh, that's a good one. That's the biggest one of the day. No doubt. Oh, wow. Good one. Double, yes. This one's pretty good. This one's pretty good. This That's one's good not one. too shabby. Wow. Wow. This one ate right at my feet. That was dirty. Oh, this is a good one, Triggy. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh. It's a big one. Oh. You, buddy. Come here, come here, come here, come here. These fish are like just absolutely fierce. Some of the fiercest freshwater fish I've ever targeted. Look at that. Just inhaled the swim bait. Just came right out. So sick. We're gonna go for the double release first. Second double of the day. This is pretty incredible. Look how different these fish look. Same species. Nothing different. One's just a little bit bigger and got different colors. Gorgeous. Actually, same area. Yeah. Gonna go for that double release now. Boom. Mission success. Well, he's gone. I got his. He's gone, man. He's Ready? coming at your yeah. feet. Oh, I feel him. I felt him. 
<laughs> Put it there, Triggy. Yeah, brother. Woo! Yeah, good Second that. double. Such a cool double. fish, man. I knew these guys were hype. Like, I knew people wanted to catch them, but I didn't know that they would be this powerful. That fish put a, a hook in my finger, and it literally ripped out because he put it in, and then he shook his head and it ripped it right out. Not going to lie, I feel a little raw right now, but that was all worth it. All worth it for a big, fat sooty. <laughs> On the swim bait. Throwing micro swim baits for freaking creek fish. Mental. <laughs> I knew there. We just. I. I threw it that log like five that times. Eye. I threw there like five times, dude. Yep. This has been the hardest I've worked for a fish in a long time. Hundred percent worth it though. These these sooties live deep into the uh, into the forest. This creek is um is so good because it's just such a hard place to get to. Not everyone's gonna come back here and chase up these fish. We've walked a total, I think, of would you say like three miles today. We walked a good bit which is a lot, especially with all the camera gear and the fishing rods. And um, yeah, but as you can see, it's panned out. We still have the walk back to do, which is just gonna be, it's gonna be hellish. It's gonna be miserable. He looked like the dad that didn't know that he was going on a really serious camping trip. <laughs> That's me. Yeah, see these. Check. I really like that. That was fun. It was fun, I Yeah, so we, we got a chance to fish with Triggy for two days. We did Barry yesterday, checked it off, and then today we did Sooties, and then also the legendary random um, Saratoga. That was crazy. Really one of the highest moments of the trip. We're now going to head back in the car, unfortunately, say goodbye to Triggy. And then uh, fish with Elbeto no Slayo. Thanks, dog. No worries, man. So much. I'll catch you guys on the road. Let's do it. All right. You sure? Oh, yeah. Good day. Holy moly guys, day number eight in Australia. I feel like I've been here for a month. It's bright and early this morning. Guess how many hours of sleep we got. How many hours of sleep did you get? One. One, no exaggeration. One is probably actually pushing it. It was probably right around 45 minutes. But you know what? That's cool because today is our last and final chance at the elusive Barramundi. I am pumped to try to catch one today. We're fishing with two new anglers, uh, El Beto Sleo for Brenton. And then we're also fishing with Brendan, I just realized they've got very similar names. They yeah, almost are the exact same. Almost the exact same names. We've got two different boats, divide and conquer. This is our best shot at a Barramundi, like our best shot. Despite the fact that it is drizzling right now and it's a little chilly, I'm feeling pretty positive about this. Got two rigs, a bunch of anglers ready to catch some fish, and we're gonna try. But man, has this been the, this has been the biggest grind of the whole trip right here. Drove four hours last night and hopes to catch a barra. Let's do this. I'm feeling ready. All right, we've just they found a nice little pretty, school. Pretty locked in. Yeah, that, that school looked pretty hungry. God bless you want it. You want to switch spots? Yeah, sure. Makes sense. Okay. We got shrimp in the bone zone. Let's make this happen. You can, but There's one. Oh, it's a snapper. <laughs> What is it? Oh, cool, eh? I use probably, to be honest, probably similar fish. Yeah. I've never caught one of these. I don't think. That's not a bad one. Well, guys, story of my life. Chase after bear, catch something. Oh, he's got like a yellow mouth. That is cool. Trippy, yeah. First fish of the day. Skunk out of the boat. Okay, get out of here. Didn't want you anyway. Interesting, huh? Oh, mud fall in the bank. Snag. That's the bear grind right there. Yeah, there's a sleigh down. Yeah, I saw on the graph. Come on, yo, wanker. You got hit? Oh, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. I'm on a fish right now. I'm on a fish right now. Fish, yeah. Yes, he came off the log. I popped it off the log. Do we have each other? What's going on here? What the f 
just happened. Oh, Son of a bitch. Anyway, my heart stopped. We're good. Okay, wow. If there was a seat, I'd sit down. <laughs> You're a wizard, Barra. You're a wizard, Barra. <laughs> we're getting handed these fish right now. And we're just dropping them. It's like an underhand pitch. No current. Underhand pitch. No, basically, the ball is on the tee. We just need to hit it off. We've hit the, we've hit the plastic tee three times. Thank you. Ah. Uh, holy sh. That fish, man? No. What is that guy in the 60s? Uh, he's been in the 70s. Are you recording any of that? Yeah. This thing just shut off. Oh, hold on. Can I lift it? Is that cool? Yeah, if you want. Yeah, I'll... He's a bit green, that's all. Yeah, no, he's not. It has taken four long days to hold one of these guys. It feels really surreal right now, man. Like, it feels really surreal. Brennan's been taking us to all these spots this morning, really kind of trying to work these fish. He's a wizard on the graph. We, he finally literally is like, all right, they're right there, cast in front. There's two fish, they ought to bite. Little do we know, one of them chunked it. That is so freaking sick. They hammer the bait. That is a good first bear of money too. Like I am stoked that it's about this size. This is, this is a fish that's been on my bucket list since I was a kid. I can't like tell you how long I've wanted to catch one of these guys. It feels absolutely just weird to have one of these in my hands right now. All thanks to the crew. <laughs> so epic, man. It is an insane feeling to catch a fish this far away from home. Quite possibly the deadliest looking fish I have ever caught. Bucket list scratched off now. So incredible. We're gonna snag some pics and then send her on her way. Freaking love you. Four days in the making. It happened. Sick. Sick John. Cool. Alright, oh. you can let her go. Ready? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Australia's done. We've literally ticked them all off. The only thing we have left now is a jungle perch. Barramundi, four freaking days. That is a dream come true. I am like, I'm stunned. Hey. Put her there. Fist bumps all around. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> we did it. Let's go catch some more. There we go. A little something. Ah, that might have been what I had. You're on? That's a barra. That's a barra. Yep. Hey, bring it up. Get into it. Get into it. Come Get on. Into it. Come on. Real, 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 real. Crank it. Crank it. Crank it. That's a barra. Yeah, that's a barra. Oh, it's a good one too. Hell yes. Hell yes. Bring it around. Bring it around. That's a good one. <laughs> good game. Barra number two. Scotty dripping with the catch. Hell well, I'm yeah. I'm only. What are we, maybe 20 feet from where you caught yours? Yeah, yeah. And we've been just kind of patrolling the edge and looking for individual fish. And sure enough, this fish showed right up. John doubled up, not not, not quite not the very the he was looking, we were for. looking for. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Dunk this guy in the water, grab a couple yeah. shots? Yeah, let's get an underwater shot. That's look, freaking look unreal. Three. This feels so weird, man. Catching Barra for once? Yeah, <laughs> we're starting to get him now. Having them actually bite and not be wieners? They're Ooh, pretty cool God. looking fish. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. Send the swing back. You ready? They kick off so freaking hard. Oh, that's insane. That's huge. You on? 
What is it? It's not a probably G. <laughs> nice. No, that looks good. That's cool. That was cool. Yeah, G T. I almost said Jack. <laughs> is it a G? It's a GT. Yeah. It is. yeah. Really yellow. Yeah, I was dude. I almost thought it was a freaking Pacific current from the one. That'd have me tripping. That'd have me tripping. Go put it back. <laughs> right in front? <laughs> Holy sh we're fing around with a GT, like a micro GT, and he's like, yo, there's fing bare money down there, man. Jack or something. It wasn't a barrel. No, that was a barrel. Was it really? It's not a barrel and he turned that inside out. Oh, f <laughs> me. That was straight down. I was about to break two PBs in one day. I saw Mud Skipper and I failed to catch him. What a day that was. I had a feeling that today was gonna be the day that I catch a bear of money. Even if I didn't, I was glad that Scott got a chance to catch one early on this trip, but I really wanted to catch one too. That means we have crossed off so many freshwater slash saltwater fish species this trip. It's been truly a dream to knock off as many bucketless fish that I've created at the age of like, I think maybe 18, 19 and even earlier than that. Bear Monday has just been something I've wanted to catch for a long time. And that moment was beyond surreal. Boat's back on the trailer. We're gonna head up north another four hours to Cairns and fish with our buddy, Albeto. He's gonna show us some pretty epic fisheries outside of the saltwater game. And um, yeah, I don't even know what to expect. Supposedly we're fishing super mega clear water, like the clearest water we're, like I've ever seen. The final rip. The final rip. Here we go, Bear Monday, gone. Interesting way to start the morning. Good morning from uh, Australia. This is our last and final day on the hunt for Aussie fish. We're joining forces with Albeto Sleo and uh, we're in uh, Cairns right now looking for the elusive, much prized jungle perch. But um, yeah, normally it don't start my fishing days in the back of a truck. Should be interesting. Trial. To think that we started off in frigid temps and now we're in like <laughs> tropical rain, tropical forest. rainforest fishing for jungle perch, which sounds like the most epic thing ever. It's pretty, pretty weird, but I like it. We... Like out. That's a that's a get out kind of noise, isn't it? <clears throat> All right, so. We're still on the hike right now. This is something that I can really appreciate only for the fact that half of this mission is based around the adventure. Never have I ever been in something like this other than when I was in the Amazon. Little did I know that, that something like this existed in Australia. It's insane. I'm seeing stuff that I didn't even know existed this far north. I mean, the coolest thing about this is at the end of this tunnel, at the end of this road, we get to do some fishing, even without the fishing aspect. Like um, Albeto was saying, that we could still have some you know, amazing moments, just because you're walking in something that not a lot of people get to experience on a daily basis. But uh, this is really sick. I I'm, can't believe this is how the trip is ending, but if it has to end, this is a good spot to do it. 
Look at that tree. That thing is sick. It's like, wow. Unreal. Just unreal. Damn, dude. I wonder if I'll ever make it to the creek. This is just fun messing around in the jungle. Climbing trees. Dude, imagine if you got all the way to the top of that thing. That'd be freaking badass. All right, onward. There's one. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> so sick. JP! <laughs> yeah? Yeah, right there. Yes! What are there, dude? Thank you. That was so sick! <laughs> he was on the left side. He was on the right side of the log. Yeah. Wow, they're powerful. So sick. First ever jungle perch. Unreal. They look so dope. Doubled. No way. My first guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hold on. I am. This is it. The final fish that we meant to target in Australia. Jungle perch. I think what makes these guys so cool is where you're catching them, but they fight pretty damn hard too. It reminds me of a cross between a, a rock bass and an aggressive white bass. What do you got there? I got a pretty pretty big one, actually. He's on that nursery pattern right now. That, this is a pretty decent one, right? Like, it's okay. Yeah. You made five casts. Yeah. I made one, one cast. Yeah. <laughs> so sick. We got man. him. This is the final check mark of our trip. Freaking did it. Put it there. Boom. Got them all. There we go. First ever jungle perch. Ticked off the list. Boom, <laughs> that's official. We've caught literally everything that we've wanted to catch on this Australian tour. Rarely, and I mean rarely does that ever happen. And the cool thing is, is that was cast number five. We've got a lot of the stream left to fish. So freaking sick. Little tiny micro baits in crystal clear jungle rivers. Can't beat it. There's one. There we go. Hooked up. Jungle perch. Jungle perch. <laughs> Woo, this is sick. This is so sick. Wow, he choked it, man. Look how that thing ate it. <laughs> they are so much more aggressive than I thought. Sorry if you guys can't really hear me. Uh, the water's ripping right now. Ah, chill, 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 chill. These are seriously the most rambunctious fish we've caught this whole trip. Really pretty. JP number two. Nice fish. Wow. So sweet. Albedo is telling us that we have to be super stealthy approaching these guys. This reminds me a lot of, uh, I don't know, like trout fishing because they're in a lot of heavy current. Positioned myself real low right behind this rock, made a cast towards some roots like three twitches and you saw that fish ate it, you just inhaled it. It's so funny how these little fish in the jungle have such like fierceness. They're pretty much the main fish that dominate these rivers other than like, I suppose, sooties, but that's it. Like that's really what we're targeting. There's not much else in here that we can catch. And uh, they're heavy, man. Just that little fish packs that much fierceness. I'm gonna take one more cast. That was cool. Come on. Choked it. Come on. 
Oh, there is one. Yeah. There's another one. Oh, they're chasing it. There we go. I'm on. Hooked up. Yep. 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 <laughs> so cool, man. So cool. Oh, <laughs> so aggressive. How is this even like a thing? I wish I'd have fished this years ago, man. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a good one, too. Come on now. Come on now. Oh, that was a decent one. Spit me. Wow. He put some heat on me. What did it break on? Did I hit something? I just busted a rod. The crusty part is I can't go back to the car and get another one. Still got one though. Uh, we got one rod trying to break that one. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I think I banged it on a tree or something on the way in here. There it is. PB jungle perch. Dude, look at their tails too. They're just such a cool looking fish. They are. I underestimated these guys. I thought they were gonna be not as strong as they are, and they're way prettier than I thought as well. Yeah. Very, very, very cool looking. It seems like there's one or two in every single pool that are ready to go. The water is dirty. It's nothing like the crystal clear water this can be, but they're fired up anyway and they're eating. Pretty awesome. Oh, perfect. Oh, boom. Oh, wow. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. No, it's, it's a big one. Oh, sh he's down there. That was so sick. He's right there, he's right there. He's gone. Big, biggest one of the trip. I literally went and threw it right there. He ate it right there. No! Well, I don't know. I mean, I guess I could have gone down there, but I was just trying to. I was trying to at least bring him right here, and he came off. Damn, that was sick. Okay, well, we got to cross the river now because we're running out of space to walk. The water's up pretty high right now. We'll see how this goes. I got a bunch of valuables in my pocket. Camera gear, phone, the whole nine yards. Let's we'll see how this goes. Yeah, we're good. It's about as deep as it gets. Looking good. We're looking good. Something just bit me. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. All right, we made it across the river. That wasn't, that wasn't too bad, but I imagine in some spots it gets really deep. Normally this water is really clear, it's shallow, it's not moving that much, but as we speak, the water is getting higher and higher because it's continuously raining throughout the day. You guys good? They're good. Here we go. Going in. There's one. Oh my gosh, there's one. There he is. 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 Come on. Come on now. Gnarly. Woo. What? Yes, sir. There he goes. Boom. Ding. Ding. That guy ate right on that rock. Right at the beginning it was, it was of the a, current. It was about to come into the current. He ate it. There we go, come on. Come on. <clears throat> oh, what was that? There's one. Oh, he ate it. Missed it. Missed it. Missed it. Oh my god, that's a nice one. That is a nice one. That's a good one. Oh my god. That was so insane. 
That was so insane. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Oh, there's a big one right behind it. There's one that's bigger right behind him. Oh my God. That was incredible. Holy smokes. Okay. Wow. Wow. Yeah, thank you. Come here. Come here. Relax, relax. Oh my god. I don't have him. I do not have him. This is painful. This is painful. I got him. There we go. I'm in shock right now. That was one of the coolest eats I've ever had in my entire life, creek fishing. Twitch, twitch, twitch. I was like nothing. I was like, how am I not getting bit? As soon as it got like probably from, you know, me to where the camera's at right now, this thing comes up and just rolls on a really lazy eat. Oh my lord. I had to put them in the boga grip because they're just such fierce animals. Look at that jungle perch. They're such pretty fish. Their scales are about as silver as, I don't know, a nickel. Like they're just all colored up. Such a pretty fish. A fish that I didn't really know much about until we came here and heard all the hype behind them. They live up to their height. Like I thought these guys would fight lazily. They wouldn't get that big. But that was seriously one of the biggest, most rambunctious tussles I've ever had in tiny waters like this. Unbelievable. Yeah, let's put her there. Boosh! <laughs> JP's with El Beto. <laughs> this is so rad. Whew. That was huge. Big JP in the jungle. Let's put her there one more time. Boom. Oh my god. Huge shout out to El Beto for the freaking <laughs> the spot lock. He like saw this pool and he's like, they're gonna be there. I'm like, alright, let's check it out. Sure enough, one cast, two cast, three cast, fourth cast. Boom, that fish comes up and eat. Wow, I'm buzzing. That was hardcore. Here, take my hand. Just kidding. <laughs> Bye. Yes, sir. The walk back is just as fun as the walk there because you forget what I route you it's take. More fun. It's more, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's way more fun. Oh, there goes my shin. Okay, so we've succeeded at the jungle perch mayhem mission. Caught a big one, caught a decent amount of numbers. You're now heading back towards the car. We got about an hour hike through just rocks, water, slippery. And then more hiking. Definitely not the easiest uh, fishing mission I've ever had in my entire life, but quite rewarding. Just goes to show that if you put in the time and do a little bit of walking, it's successful. Oh wow, there's the sun. Yeah. Sun decides to show up as we leave, of course. Whoa. Oh, all right. So this is our grand finish. The Australian tour is complete. I caught so many fish that really are no longer on my bucket list. I can now check them off. This was probably one of the most insane and most unique road trips I've ever taken in my entire life. And to think it's ended here on one of the most pristine rivers that I've ever made a cast into. I hate to say this, but we're now gonna get back on the road and head towards Sydney and depart from Sydney to LAX, then back home to Dallas. But is this just not incredible? Like. What a better way to add a complete finish to um, an already epic tour. Let's head out of here.